What's good, you guys? I've got QNT lined up for you today. We're gonna to check that out. It's a CBDC play, big time. At the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you about how it's connected to our other video, XDC, big new world order plays for those. We think, expect massive things out of this coin in 2022. Check it out for me, hang out, and I'll check it with you in a second here. Since the creation of Bitcoin in 2009, tens of thousands of other coins have emerged, and each one of them relies on the blockchain technology. Those blockchain structures, although have seen tremendous progress, they still remain plagued with a few serious issues, one of which is the lack of interoperability. This refers to the capability of making connections and establishing communications between computerized systems, regardless whether they have been developed by different manufacturers or even in different industries. Each of the different blockchains that cryptocurrencies rely on is built differently, which is hindering interoperability and compatibility of the networks. So those blockchains cannot share information nor data between them unless they undergo a time and energy consuming long process. But Quant Network might just have the solution for this issue. And in this video, we'll go over the Quant Network and explain everything related to it. So let's get right into it. The Quant Network was created in 2015 by Gilbert Verdian, who was working in healthcare and has previously identified the importance of interoperability in ensuring coverage of patients that are registered on different networks and across multiple data sets. And thus, the Quant Network's idea was born, a technology which automates the trust function between several differing blockchains. The Quant Network is Ethereum-based and leverages security and interoperability of the Ethereum ecosystem. And while the Bitcoin blockchain's focus is transferring value, Ethereum has DeFi, blockchain games, and decentralized exchanges, which can all be enjoyed via Quant using the Overledger protocol. The Overledger architecture basically supports both scaling and interoperability as it aims to remove the communication barriers between blockchains. And in order to achieve this goal, the Overledger is based on different layers, each performing individual tasks. The transaction layer, which is made up of varied and isolated ledgers, handles the storage of transaction, and it is where all of the operations needed to reach consensus in different blockchains occur. The messaging layer is a logical layer as it tackles all of the relevant information from the ledgers, which includes smart contract data, metadata, and transaction data. Side note, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing content. Now, let's get back to the video. Next up, we have the filtering and ordering layer, which creates connections between messages in the messaging layer. It filters and orders the transaction information that are referenced through a hash and exchanged out of chain. In the application layer, applications are able to communicate with each other by putting messages on the messaging layer. If the messages get through the filtering rules of the other application, they can reach the application layer. Another game-changing protocol is the Overledger DLT, or Distributed Ledger Technology Gateway from Quant, which assists the system with interoperability between networks and the distributed ledger system. And so, using DLT, data, NFTs, smart contracts, fungible tokens can all be transferred smoothly. With Overledger, developers can also get the best out of all DLT ecosystems by transferring their single blockchain dApps or decentralized apps to mDApps, multi-DLT applications. With mDApps, developers can enjoy each differing blockchain advantage without dealing with its restrictions or benefiting from the consensus of one chain while acquiring data from another. The Quant Network is powered by QNT, an Ethereum token currently priced at over $150, with a market cap of $2 billion and with a total supply of around 14.6 million. And now that you know all about the Quant Network, let us know your thoughts in the comments down below, and do you think that it would make a good investment? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more content such as this one. And we'll see you soon. What's up guys, that was the video on QNT, a little quick brief overview. We're gonna have more stuff coming on, on that. Um, new videos coming every week. Uh, how is that linked to XDC? Their dev is working with them. QNT is deep in there with all of the New World Order coins, right? You know what I mean when I say New World Order, XDC, XRP, all these, all these coins that are starting to work with the banks and the infrastructures. So feel free to check out our video we've got right here on XDC, whatever that is, and we'll be bringing out new content. Appreciate you.